Mother got her hearing aids and we're just thrilled. She wouldn't admit that she couldn't hear. Last time I was home, I, Mama said, what are you going to do while you're home? And I said, I'm going to try to catch up on my sleep. She said, how'd you get catch up on your sleep? What? And then my sister said, oh, I can top that one. She was sitting in the other room and yelled the other day, uh, what's that tiny man's name plays on Fantasy Island? And my sister said, well, what brought that up? And Mama yelled, I don't know, I was just thinking. And then my sister yelled, Hervey Vilichek. My mother hollered, honey, it hadn't come yet. My sister said, what? She said, my VHS. <laughs> it's always something. Well, shit. Fell a hunk of downers. It's Cinco de Mayo. And my friend Amy down in Mexico bought me a bottle opener. <laughs> Dirty, nasty. If you think it's anything but a bottle opener, you have a dirty, nasty, small little mind. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> the bottle opener. God, can sweet and go? Let me see the two girl. Well, hello, fella shut ins. I'm having breakfast out on the patio. Sitting here counting up how many times I've been baptized. I think it's 14. My mother hates for me to say that, but in my religion, you only have to be baptized one time, but I had a secret, you know. So, uh, because of all those bad thoughts I was having, I've been baptized at camps and retreats and revivals. Preacher said to me one time, he said, I believe I baptized you this summer. I said to him, I don't think it took. Let's go again. <laughs> well, I'm out here peddling around. I'd happy to report, look, honey, that's that old girl. She was about dead, but look, I've got all that new growth. Oh, honey, she suffered. I'm telling you, when it comes to suffering, this plan is up there with Elizabeth Taylor and Tammy Wynette. Well, my goodness gracious, I must live in the land of the flying succulents. I don't know upstairs. She must put her succulents on the balcony last night. All the wind, look, crashing down. <clears throat> so I replanted the little ones. I put them over here. Look. And in, in there, and then I planted this other little orphan succulent that came flying through the through the air. There, here's the one came down last week. I mean, about a month ago. The land of the flying succulent. I'm on my little balcony having breakfast. Many, many, many years ago, I had an apartment had a balcony like this. And it was in a primarily African-American part of Chattanooga. It was very segregated back then. But there were these little kids, these three little girls. They were so precious. They would line up down and holler things up at me. One of them said, hey, can I ask you something? I said, what? Is you a midget? <laughs> That's an awful word. Don't use that word. It's little people. She said, uh-huh. And then they would do these little skits for me. Oh my gosh, they were so cute. They would take the mop, not the not the handle, the mop, and that would be their pom-poms. And they'd say, strawberry soda, raspberry fizz, we're from the river side. Now who you is? Strawberry soda, raspberry fizz.
Well, it is a beautiful California evening. It doesn't get dark, you know, to eight or nine, but I'm out here tucking in the plants. Look how good my succulents are doing. They love this heat. And then the hydrangeas, that little begonia. I know you can't kill a begonia. She like an old drunk. And then over there, see, I don't know if you can see, but right in there is my problem child. Little azalea bush. Won't perk up. I've given him plant food. Water him. He's a sad sack. Just will not join the party. Will not join the party. Okay, who needs to be slapped? Leslie Jordan for being a spoiled baby. The condo that I normally rent uh, overlooks the ocean in Puerto Vallarta, but it fell through. It was, oh, and Don LeClaire, who uh, manages me and does all that stuff, he had to step all night long, but look, he found this beautiful condominium. But see, it doesn't overlook the water. Well, who cares? Look at this. I, I rearranged this morning, and all the plants are on rollers, I guess so they can roll them back, you know, to get uh, sun. And, uh, of course, you have to disregard those big old aluminum fences because people come in and get you. But, look, it's just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Well, good morning. I'm back from Palm Springs. Thank goodness I'm home. Out on my balcony having poached eggs and sweet tea. You know, when I was little, uh, my mama had the most beautiful fingernails. I was just thinking about this. She never had a mani pet in her life. She drank gelatin tablets and uh, and do and she'd do it herself. Oh, she had beautiful fingernails. And then she'd tickle my back. And I'd tell her when I was little, don't rug it, itch it. Don't rug it, Mama. Itch it. And she'd tickle my back, but I am itching all over. I don't know if it's that hotel soap or what, but look what I use to scratch my back now. Pasta. That thing you used to get the pasta. Oh, it's about to drive me crazy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. So yesterday, my mother was telling me this funny story about when we were little, my twin sisters and I got down in this ditch and we got into a wasp nest or something and they chased us and we were screaming and carrying on and I said to her, I'm scared of wasps. Look at this on my balcony this morning. There's an injured wasp. I gave him a little flower to eat and some water to drink. Poor little wasp. We gotta be kind. That's just the way it's gonna end, is that we're gonna figure out we've got to all help one another and be kind. Oh, look. <gasps> Only one wing works. Yikes. Gotta be kind.